As we celebrate the Marine Corps birthday here at the National Veterans Memorial and Museum, we want to introduce you to Lance Corporal Dorrance Kelly, who dedicated his life to serving others. Dr. Kelly credits his time in the Corps as to what helped shape him into the person he'd become today. Simplify, Dr. Kelly. Thank you for your service and thank you for our freedom. And happy birthday, United States Marine Corps. It was a, uh, a difficult time in the country, and uh, we were uh, starting to get involved again in a uh, <clears throat> Middle Eastern war. And uh, I just thought that uh, it was time to uh, put some service back into the country. I played a lot of sports and and uh, <clears throat> was used to the camaraderie of, uh, of, of teams. And uh, <clears throat> I'd also been... Uh, in scouting, and I think scouting prepared me for uh, for the military as well. I I spent uh, until I was uh, 16 in Boy Scouts and Eagle and uh, uh, Explorer Scouts, and, and became an Eagle Scout. But I think that was a good preparation for me to uh, to think about joining the service. And as far as I was concerned, there was only one branch of the service to join, and that was the Marine Corps because those were the the biggest, strongest, toughest guys. Or at least that's what I would always envision. I had a, a rather checkered course in the Marine Corps, uh, to be honest with you, uh, because I got off uh, sort of on the wrong foot uh, when I got to Paris Island after a uh, all-night trip on the bus from uh, Boston to Buford, South Carolina. So I was also just starting uh, my first year of dental school at the Ohio State University. And uh, they had a program uh, in the Marine Corps and several other branches of the service that uh, allowed you to uh, fulfill your military obligation with a, a six months active duty, five and a half years reserve time, uh, as opposed to a four year uh, military service. Uh, and uh, I opted to to, uh, uh, to go that route. And uh, I got into the uh, uh, receiving barracks and, and uh, there was a uh, lieutenant there that uh, didn't seem particularly happy with me uh, because I was uh, uh, one of these, what he called six month wonders and I was uh, not uh, uh, gonna be serving in the Marine Corps for the rest of my life. Uh, he was talking about what we were going to see while we were at Paris Island. And he said, I'm going to teach you girls how to, how to march in the oblique. And I uh, remember being the, the new guy there, I looked around and said, see if anybody caught oblique. And, and uh, the smart college kid said, uh, excuse me, sir, don't you mean oblique? Well, I've never seen eyeballs look that big in my life. I, he was nose to nose, toes to toes, and uh, I thought steam was coming out of his ears. And uh, he said, no, see, I mean oblique, as in strike. And he hit me in the gut and sent me off to a special part of the island called spe uh, Special Training Unit, uh, which I didn't know anything about. And uh, But I realized shortly thereafter that uh, it was a place you really didn't want to be. Uh, it was uh, basically a, uh, a dumping place for for people who were misfits and malcontents. And I didn't believe that I fit into that category. And at that time, I, I probably did fit into that category because I was uh, uh, questioning the, the guy who uh, was way senior to me. Um, so I realized that, that you could be at a special training unit for the rest of your life and never... I counted having served a day in service. So I knuckled down and decided that uh, it would be best if I uh, were able to remove myself from uh, special training units. I worked real hard for the first week that I was there and uh, got a pass to go from platoon 261, which my, which was my original uh, sign-up unit, uh, to 267, which was the unit that I finished with at Paris Island. We had a terrific platoon of about 82 guys, and uh, I was lucky enough to make the uh, uh, the rifles the rifle team, 
and so instead of peeling potatoes, I was uh, I was able to uh, to work on the on the rifle range and and uh, shot expert. Uh, uh, actually, that week that I lost essentially in in time and service because I was uh, uh, considered a misfit and malcontent. Uh, Thirteen weeks later, I, I graduated from Paris Island as the outstanding Marine recruit, and. Uh, uh, that's quite a transition to be the guy who's at the bottom of the ladder to the guy who's at the top of the ladder in our unit. Well, I think the discipline of, of, uh, of the Marine Corps is something that is sort of unique. And uh, uh, that's one of the things that was really important as a neurosurgeon was, uh, was discipline because you have uh, like in many of the medical fields, you had long, long hours, uh, long sleepless nights, and uh, working in a hospital setting, it was uh, it was a lot of really hard work, which the Marine Corps had prepared me for, and uh, so th that seemed like it was easy. While the other guys in in uh, in my class, there were three of us in my uh, dental school class. Uh, the other two guys uh, were having a more difficult time keeping up, but uh, it was it was an easy load for me. And being in the Marine Corps, I think, really helped that. Uh, being in the Marine Corps helped, I think, in every facet of my life, uh, quite honestly. I, uh, it prepared me for a lot of things that I couldn't have otherwise done. Well, I, I think there's a lot of cliche uh, about the Marine Corps, and uh, I came to believe that, that all those cliches were, were really quite true. Uh, the translation for Semperfy is always faithful, and and uh, I, I really believe that that's uh, the mantra of the Marine Corps. They're always faithful to uh, to what, what it is that they've chosen to do, and uh, whether you're a uh, a newly enlisted or uh, a veteran uh, staff sergeant, uh, that's a phrase that has a lot of meaning to you because uh, it's that group of guys, that, that band of, 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 uh, of fellows that uh, uh, are in the same sort of a situation that you are. That is, if they were part of a unit that uh, they really truly think is, is uh, the finest uh, of all the military units that are in service. And uh, I'm proud, really proud that uh, I was in the Marine Corps uh, because of all the things that they do, all the things they give back to the to the country. And uh, uh, they have fought and saved our country many times over. Uh, and I'm proud to be a part of that, uh, uh, of that heritage.